Greetings! My name is Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And welcome back to Slay the Princess. Last time, we did absolutely nothing that the narrator told us to do, and things went completely fucking weird. Uh. And we created, uh, and the princess turned into a magnificent abomination of fractal images fused together. And then was taken away by some weird creature made out of hands. And now, well, now we're back here. Where we started. Let's see. Hmm, what to do next? I guess we should probably actually go to the cabin this time. Oh, okay. Thanks for telling me what to do. Don't mention it. It's all part of the job. But you make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. I mean, fair enough. I do the same in her shoes. Not that she's great. Was she wearing shoes? I'm not really certain. I don't think she was. Oh, then. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. This looks the only a lot more of note is a plain wooden table. This looks a lot Perched more on that table is a pristine blade. This looks a lot more coherent than it, than, I, than last time I came here. That's probably a good sign. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Well, this certainly seems like an important choice. So, what should I do, though? Should I take the blade and go down and kill her? Or should I leave it and then go down and kill her with my bare hands? Uh... Now, you know what? We've tried outright disobeying the narrator straight for the start. Let's try a more... Uh, and that went very wonky. Let's try just disobeying him in a more conventional way. Fuck the blade. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. This isn't that bad, it's just a bit of a fixer-upper, you know? Her voice softly carries up the stairs. It'd be a pretty nice place to live if you just... Hello? Is someone there? This hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. That's a bit much, but it is, uh, I agree that it's a, nice, it's a really nice voice, but... Don't be a simp, hero. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. I'm surprised you didn't comment on that before. Hi, just get to in on you. I'm here to save you. Lie, I'm here to save you. Alright, because the narrator can tell when I'm lying. Let's see. Hmm. Hey, I think I'm here to slay you? It, you must have the wrong address. <laughs> That's surprisingly 
mundane way to respond to that. It's like the sort of thing that I'd say if someone said that to me. Great job, you've given away the element of surprise. Good luck, hero. Yo! You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? Uh, she's alright. I've seen better. <laughs> I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. Yeah, you're certainly riding on me. Catch my drift. Hi. You were joking about coming to kill me, right? Do, do you think you could get me out of these chains? Once again, the subtitles are inaccurate. She didn't say here. Uh, hold on, let's talk about it first. Okay. Now that I've got a captive audience. <laughs> So yeah, again, what is your name? Oh. You don't know, do you? She pauses, carefully formulating her words before she responds. You can address me as your royal highness, or you can just call me princess if your royal highness is too formal. Yeah. Is princess her name or her title? What if it's both? Could you imagine being named princess princess? <laughs> That would, uh, boggle the mind a little. Um. I believe there was a character in Darth and Droids named Princess, but she wasn't a princess. So is Princess your name? Like I said, you can call me Princess if you'd like. Something's wrong, I can feel it. Why? I mean, the charitable, uh, the uh, most mundane interpretation of this is that she's just been down here so long she's forgotten her own name. Although she's, are you, although you'd think she'd have, uh, she'd have, her speech would be a lot rougher if that were the case because she wouldn't have, you know, because people get worse at speaking if they don't do it, if they don't converse with people frequently, or if they don't converse with people for a long period of time, I don't know. Unless, for all, then again, she might very well just not have a name. She might have, she might never have had a life outside this cabin. She could have just been created by maybe the narrator, maybe something beyond the narrator, maybe that weird hand creature. They just didn't bother to name her. I don't know why. Just... I'm sorry, I've been down here so long, I guess I've just forgotten. I must have a name, though. Everyone has a name. Well, I don't. And neither, neither does the narrator or the voices in my head. Not as far as I know. Seems we all just have titles, don't we? Like we're just, like we're not, not even people, just cardboard cutouts designed to fill a role. We're more than that, aren't we? Well, that's not, but we weren't intended to be more than that, were we? I don't know. Okay, that's weird. You can say that again. She hadn't even thought to pick a name for herself. Hopefully, you're starting to see that she can't be trusted. Go back upstairs, get the blade, and slay her before it's too late. <laughs> yeah, again. You're one to talk, narrator. What's your name? Let's see. Oh yeah, if I'm the first person you've seen in a while, what have you been eating or drinking? That's a good fucking question. I don't see what that has to do with anything. <laughs> it's a perfectly valid question. 
This is the only time this is ever going to happen, but I agree with the princess. That's hardly relevant. Now, you, now you're ganging up on me, trying to get me to stop questioning the oddities of this story. Okay, but actually, what has she been eating? She has to eat, right? Maybe. I wasn't kidding when I said I was sent here to kill you. You're apparently going to end the world. It, is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I, I like the world, I think. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here for so long. Well, I, I, I've been out in the rest of the world. Trust me, it's nothing to write home about. It's so empty. That's... How long has she been locked away? No. Did they tell you how I'm supposed to end the world? Uh, I was hoping you'd tell me. I don't know how to destroy the world, if that's what you're getting at. Darn, I was hoping to destroy the world myself. I believe her. She doesn't have to know how to destroy the world to be capable of doing it. Well, then that raises an interesting question of culpability. Other than that. At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Yeah, it's like a... It's sort of like the whole prisoner's dilemma almost. Far more interesting, but far more interesting. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but... They didn't tell you why. I don't trust that. And I don't think you do either, or you wouldn't have come down here to talk. Yeah, true enough. Although, yeah, just because I don't trust that doesn't mean I trust you. Is that enough? I don't know. It's... She has a point. We're talking like this for a reason. So this shouldn't be about what I'd do if I got out of here or... Me saying the right thing to convince you to save me. This is about how messed up this whole situation is. This is my life we're talking about. Do you really think I can even end the world? Why would I even want to? I don't know. We both know that if there's people we can't trust in this situation, it's whoever locked me down here, and it's whoever sent you here. And those two groups are probably one and the same. Don't let her turn the tables here. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. We stand to lose everything, all for the sake of one person, and a subjugating monarch, no less. What is she even the princess of, for that matter? And anyways, she's not uh, being the princess, she's not really a monarch yet. She's just in the line of succession. And... Besides, if you're gonna ask me whether it's worth risking everything, all for the sake of one person, especially one person that might very well be an innocent, I say yes, every day of the week, that's worth it. It has to be. I mean, otherwise, you could just say that you, could mur you should murder anyone on the street because there's a chance that they might kill everyone and destroy the entire universe. And is that worth the risk, even if it's only a small one? It's... Uh. Um. I'm going to get you out of here. Don't make me regret this. You're only making this more difficult. For you. Thank you, and, and you won't. I promise. 
you're making a huge mistake. No, you're doing the right thing. Yeah, the, if the voice of the hero is on my side, that's all I need. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. Oh yeah, I haven't actually thought about how I'm going to get her out. I'm fairly certain the narrator isn't going to give me a key. Those look pretty tight. Mm. Maybe. Maybe if we cut her arm and use the blood as lube to s squeeze it up. No. Hand looks a bit too big for that. I don't know. Hard to say. And if she. Uh, Anyways, if she hasn't been able to get out on her own, the, uh, her own devices, I'm not certain what we can do. Since that chain is probably much too strong for us to bust through. Maybe if we had that knife, we could we could maybe uh, Jimmy open the lock. But or I'm actually, guessing you don't have the key. Actually, we do have a talent. Maybe that could be used to be able to lock. There even is a lock, and it's not just... It looks like it might just be bolted closed. Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabinet. Hmm. Who knows? I'm gonna check upstairs. Maybe the key's still lying around somewhere up there, and if not, maybe I can at least find something to break you free. Okay. I'll be here. Good luck. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. Oh, you, hear you the click mother of the lock fucker. Into place. Narrator, you fucking asshole. I knew you'd pull some shit like this. Is someone else here? No, just the goddamn narrator. But this, I can't imagine this is gonna go well, but let's try the door. You try the door, and it's locked from the outside. Naturally. Well, shit. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Yeah, for you. Well, looks like we were both fucking trapped down here. Well, the situation has not- Your situation has not significantly improved since you- Since I came here. I think we're both damsels in distress at this point. Easier for whom? Yeah, good question. Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. Including the princess? <laughs> I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. Yeah. yeah if I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. Hmm. Maybe. I mean, the, if you've got a, uh, maybe if you've got some magic of your own, or maybe if we just kick the door down together, all up the stairs, that'd be a bit awkward, but. She barely hesitates before raising her arm to her mouth, her teeth tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. Fucking A. Alright, that works. As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. It's the blade from upstairs. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. Or we could use it to free her. You won't like what happens if you do that. Is... Is that a threat? I... I just... Uh, I... Earlier, I might have assumed that you were talking about the end of the world. Listen to that tone of voice. That's a threat, isn't it? You're not talking about what'll happen to the world, you're talking about what you'll do to me if, if I do that. 
Well, fuck you, narrator. I don't negotiate with terrorists. Save the princess. <sighs> Fine. Against your better judgment, you place the blade against the ragged, self-inflicted wound on the princess's arm just above the unyielding chain binding her to this place. There we go. You cut into her flesh. The blade is sharp, and it takes little effort to crack through the bone of her arm. Yeah. She hardly even seems to know... Uh, to, she hardly see, even seems bothered by the pain. But I guess... Who knows? An eternity of... Sensory deprivation will do that to you. Or maybe she's just a hard motherfucker to begin with. I can respect that. I can respect that a lot. Her limb falls to the ground, and the heavy chains follow suit. She didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal. Yep, she's a trooper, that princess. I like her already. No, she didn't. She smiles softly as her gaze meets yours, blood from her wounded arm dripping rhythmically to the ground. Yeah, we uh, we should really uh, bind that wound so you don't bleed out. Which is probably why you didn't try that before. Uh, I mean, sure, you might have been able to escape before if you had just done, done that initially, assuming you could bite through the bone, which eventually you probably could wear that down, but uh, you'd probably just die on your own if you were with that severe wound. How is she still smiling after everything? It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. Yeah, well, I'm not sure I would if in this situation. She's the trooper, that princess, like I said. Isn't she... Isn't she beautiful like this? His eyes. The blood on her mouth. Wound. And still she smiles. Captivating, isn't it? Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Yeah, I'll have plenty of time to admire you later. Let's go. Together. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No, I can't just let her escape into the world. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. Oh. Oh, you fucking cunt! You absolute fucking bastard, you narrator. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. What are you doing? No. Fuck you, narrator. Stop that. You think you're in control, but then again... Perhaps I have the strength after all. Now drop that knife! Something's come over you, hasn't it? Y you know you don't have to do this, right? Your body lunges forward, the blade held low, ready to sink into her heart. But the princess dodges, stumbling back against the wall before the blade has a chance to connect. Stop it! Stop trying to resist me! I'm trying to get you out of here alive! No. No, you fucking aren't. You're trying to keep us down here. You're trying... ...to get her... You're, try you're trying to get us both killed, aren't you? Now drop that knife! The blade. Move the blade. Drop the knife! As your body remains frozen in stubborn resistance, the princess takes a cautious step forward. We both know this isn't you. No. No, it isn't. She nervously reaches towards you and takes the blade from your infuriatingly rigid hands. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? 
the only path, uh, the only thing you've left for me to do. If you've, if you're gonna make me a danger to the princess, the only thing I can do is to remove that danger. I'm sorry. I'll try to be quick. Yeah. She plunges it into your chest, tearing through flesh and sinew. It is agony. But you aren't dead yet. Damn it. I'm sorry, princess. I'm sorry that you have to do this. Sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't strong enough to shake him off, but this is the only way. Oh no! I'm so sorry! Stay strong. We can tough it out until it's done. For her sake. And for ours. For her sake? Don't you start pretending that dying a painful death is some sort of heroic gesture. The two of you have literally doomed everyone. Even if, even if I believed that, though, uh, even if I believed your words, even if you gave me any reason to believe that, resisting this sort of mind, this sort of mind control is always a heroic gesture, regardless of the intentions behind whoever's uh, whoever's fucking with your head. Whatever. She sinks the blade into your chest again and again and again, and you feel every inch of burning pain that slices its way into your body. Princess. Hello, princess. My love. Would you please aim better? <laughs> You're rubbish at this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Ah, uh. uh, no. I'm the one who should be sorry. No. Neither of us should be, actually. It's the narrator that, that, that should be sorry. That will be sorry. She doesn't know how to use a knife, does she? No, she doesn't. She's just... <laughs> It makes it seem more harmless, doesn't it? Apparently not. Though it doesn't matter how sloppy her knife work is, does it? A stab wound is still a stab wound. It won't be long before you bleed out. <laughs> I'm so sorry! With one last thrust of the knife, your legs give out beneath you. You collapse to the floor, your blood pooling around you, your limbs unresponsive. The princess stares down at your ruined chest as tears carve rivulets of pink down her blood-spattered cheeks. Jesus. Look at her. Downright... She looks downright pitiful, doesn't she? I believe this is the This is the most sorry I've ever felt for someone who's just stabbed me to death. Damn you, damn you, narrator, for forcing us to do this. Well, I'll see you in the next life, princess. It can't just end like this, right? Doesn't seem fair now, does it? But good things don't happen to heroes, do they? Oh, that's rich coming from you. As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. The two of you made your choice. It's over. Fuck you, narrator! The only reason we had to do this is because of your bullshit. Uh, don't tell me you'd prefer things to have gone differently when you're the one that's put it, that put us down this path. Everything goes dark. And you die. And don't tell me you can't deny the reality of what happened, considering that's literally what you just did, successfully. Chapter 2. The Damsel You're on a path in, in the, the woods, woods. And, at and at the, the end, end of that, that path is a cabin. cabin. And in the basement, in the basement of, that of that cabin is a princess. Is a You're here, You're here to, to slay her. her. If you don't, it'll be the end of the if world. You... Yada yada yada.
Okay, no. Oh, don't you start grandstanding about morals. The fate of the world is at risk right now, and the life of a mere princess shouldn't stop you from saving us all. Fuck you. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Yes, he didn't approve of us last time, did he? If we're going to save our beloved, we'll have to be sneaky about it. Yeah, yeah, I agree, my good man. Voice of the smitten. Uh, appropriate, considering he did just get smote by the narrator last time, effectively. <laughs> our beloved. Yes, hero. Our beloved princess, who we've done all this for... Yeah, after all, this is a, a, apparently a love story. <laughs> yes, you'll have to be very sneaky about your intentions if you're going to try and save the princess. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so all of the cards are on the table. Then you should know that we and the princess are in love, and the four of us will be foiling any and all assassination attempts you've got in the works. Quite so, Smitten. We'll see about that. Whatever you do, just be sure to ignore him specifically. It sounds like he's the sort who'd sacrifice the whole world for a peck on the cheek. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should have seen how far we got with the, uh, the princess last time. I think we were getting a bit more than just a peck on the cheek, my good man. <laughs> what can I say? A world without love is a world that isn't worth saving. Yeah! Ah. <sighs> Man, so far, I, all these voices have been way more <laughs> trust, uh, been way more up my alley than the narrator has been. Let's see. Did I say that? Let's assume I'm telling the truth, and all this really did happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Those are two very different questions, but fine. I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or, or at least a version of me. If you're back here, I'm assuming you died, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. Yeah, because you murdered me. <laughs> you were the one who did us in, villain. Yeah, quite so, my good man. Well, not you in the literal sense, but you did everything you could to stop us from rescuing her. <laughs> well... Oh, I wonder why. Maybe it's because the entire world was at stake. No lone princess is worth that price. You'd be surprised. I beg to differ. Exactly. Took the words right out of my mouth. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm just going to take a deep breath and assume that whoever is making the decisions here has the common sense to ignore your protestations. Anyway, I believe your second question was, what's the point of doing anything? <laughs> If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. You forced the princess to kill us, and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? I don't think it's either. I don't think it's... I don't think I'm back anywhere. I think this is just... the. I think the world has just reset and changed, so to speak. I'm not even certain if you're telling the truth about... Not... Uh, about... Not remembering, but although you probably are. If it's the latter, what do you think happened after you died? I think that's... A, you're giving me a false dichotomy. There are other options. Do you think the people there lived happily ever after? Or do you think that the princess, left unhindered, brought about the end to everyone and everything, just like I told you she would? I... I wouldn't be surprised if she did do that specifically just to spite the world that, that took her beloved away from her. You know? Took her saviour away from her. I wouldn't... I don't want to assume that, the, that she had already fallen in love with me. Uh. She would never. She's a perfect angel that you cruelly imprisoned as part of some convoluted, dastardly scheme. Exactly, Smitten. I like this guy already. Convoluted. 
I don't know how this premise could be any more simple. <laughs> Chris is bad. Stop her. To save him. There is nothing simple about any of this. Well, I'm with them. I'm going to find a way to save her from that cabin. That's right. You can't stop all of us. Well, I mean, he kind of did. But then there's more of us this time. We're going to sweep her off her feet if it's the last thing anyone does. Yeah! Are these really the sorts of people you'd like to align yourself with? <laughs> more than you, certainly. <sighs> You're not at the cabin yet. You still have plenty of time to reflect on the situation. I just hope for all our sakes that you make the right call. Right. Head to the cabin, shall we? A warning before you go any further. She will lie. We already told you we're not playing along with your little game. It's your lies that can't be trusted. Yeah! Her beauty is the only thing in the world we can believe in. Yeah! Well, I mean, she wasn't that beautiful. I mean, she was pretty beautiful. I think we've already been over this. I'm pretty sure he just likes the sound of his own voice. <laughs> I like the sound of his voice, so I don't blame him. I do, but I also speak from the heart. My passions are too great to be stifled. They must be expressed. Yeah. Sure, yeah, your passions are strong and all, but not everyone needs to hear them. Some things are better kept quiet. <laughs> bah. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works. And all that. Don't pay their bickering any mind. Focus on the task ahead. Oh, I will. The interior of the cabin is clean and elegant, its stone walls draped in fine threaded tapestries, Fancy. a prison befitting a royal prisoner. The only furniture of note is an ornate wooden table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. Let's see. Yeah, the whole cabin is different than last time. Very different. Is it? I can't say I was paying much attention to the scenery last time around. <laughs> well. Oh, I'm sure you were paying attention to the scenery. Uh, the, the landscape at the very least. Especially those two peaks. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's because you haven't actually been here. I hope this means you'll finally drop that ridiculous past life nonsense. You haven't died, and you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. Oh, I certainly haven't been murdered by the princess at the very least. So focus up. Stop letting yourself get distracted. Alright. Yeah. That's because there isn't a mirror. There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. I'm sure the princess would tell us there was a mirror if she were up here. <laughs> In which case she'd be lying to you because, again, there isn't a mirror. That's a great idea. We have to make sure we're looking our best before we save her. Yeah, we wouldn't want any of our... Uh, we, we wouldn't want to be going down there looking like a vagabond. We need to... As... As the contrarian would say, like, we need... As I was saying back in the previous one, uh, we need to be... You know, style is hugely important for being a dashing savior. We shouldn't waste time preening. I'm not lying to you. Yeah. All right. Should I take the blade or? Hmm. You walk up to the wall. This really is. You reach forward and rub your hat. It was there a second ago, and now it's gone. Pity. We could have a feather out of place, and now we'll never know. We can't gallantly sweep her off her feet if we have a feather out of place. I mean, we can, <laughs> but yeah. Ah, let's take the blade this time. It came in handy last time, and I don't want to... I don't want to give him an inch when it comes to <laughs> forcing us to do stuff, you know? Him tossing the blade down and us not, question and us not questioning that might have been what gave him the leeway to, to murder us. 
You take the blade from the table. I suppose if we're to play the role of dashing knight, we need an equally dashing sword. That way she'll know we can defend her from her enemies. Exactly. And also we might need to chop her arm off again. Or her hand off, rather. Her wrist off. Uh... And... Yeah, although he's a dashing sword. I... I feel a bit uh, under-armed for that, considering all we've got is a knife. I really hope she doesn't take that as a statement about our other equipment. Hopefully it doesn't put her on edge, and hopefully it doesn't get turned on us again. Well, better that than us strangling her to death by uh, the narrator's command. There's no use arguing over motivations right now. It's good that you took the blade. You'll need it to do your job. Perhaps. What job would that be? Who can say? The door to the basement creaks open, revealing an intricate stairwell. Gold-trimmed carpet glimmers in the light of the torches positioned along the walls. The basement almost seems welcoming in the dim firelight. That's nice. But it's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. You really like that line, don't you? Bloody hell. You're just never happy with anything, are you? A soft voice carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? Her voice. It's somehow even more beautiful than last time. I can hear wedding bells already. I've held my tongue till now, but you're taking this a little too far. We barely even know the princess. I can still do right by her without all this over-the-top that's, fawning. That's... yeah, that's a good point. Um, she might be... Captivating, and a, not to mention a hard motherfucker, but <laughs> we, don't, we do barely even know her. We, uh, I was about to say we don't even know her name, but then we don't even know our own name, so that's not really much of a statement. Uh, yes, for everyone's sake, you're not in love. <sighs> Just remember that her charms are all part of the manipulation. I don't know about that. Some of her charms. Uh, some of her charms are things that you that you guys wouldn't even recognize as such. Like that. That beautiful, bloodstained smile. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall. Hang on a second. I'm, uh... Save... I need to check something. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I just realized that I, I thought something was a bit different. She's got a bigger rack this time. Nice. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the comically large, t uh, large tits, but a little bit, a little bit more meat on there is not going to go amiss. Those are like the, those are like pretty close to the perfect size, actually. My love, we're here to rescue you from your unjust and foul imprisonment. That we are. You know she can't hear you, right? <laughs> she may not be able to hear my words, but surely. She can hear my spirit. Yeah, quite so, my good uh, sir. Your spirit's plenty loud, all right. <laughs> You're one to talk, narrator. It's you, my dashing hero. I was so worried you wouldn't come back. Did you hear that? She said we're dashing. Uh, she said we're her hero. And she called us a hero. Yeah, exactly. Flattery really goes a long way with the two of you, doesn't it? Not... is it flattery if it's true? Waiting for you to come back? I didn't want to believe your ravings back in the woods, but this is next to incontrovertible evidence. You've been here before. That's right, villain. And you killed us. Well, 
she killed us. Technically, but the narrator is the one that murdered us. Only because he made us try and kill her. It was self-defense. Our beloved's hands remain unstained by cruelty. And you've died. She's very apologetic about it, too. So an entire world has been damned to oblivion. So you say. I'd really hoped I'd be the first, but what's done is done. What matters is you have a chance to do it right this time. Now, hold on, if she actually ended a world, are you sure we want to do this? Are you sure we want to rescue her? I don't, don't get cold feet now. We only have his word for that. And besides, if, it's the, uh, if the world is like being created by the narrator, like it, like it seems the case, or at the very least controlled by the narrator in so, to some degree, Maybe it deserves to be destroyed, considering the narrator is the one that murdered us and forced uh, the princess to, to, to hold the blade. It did it. That's doubly cruel. We never saw a world end, and now I'm even more certain that we must chase our heroic and romantic destiny than I've ever been. I shan't let anyone convince us otherwise. That's the spirit. Are you listening Smithy? to him? He's lost it. Don't let him distract you, just do your job. Oh, I'll do my job, all right, if you know what I mean. <laughs> why'd you do that? I think we know why we, why she did that. Yeah. <laughs> don't, uh, let's see. I'm sorry about what happened last time. The narrator who sent me here to kill you took over my body. It was extremely unfair. If another version of me was pushed to such drastic action, it was for good reason. Fuck off! That's okay. You were just doing your best, and that's all that matters. Thank you. I'm glad you're not upset about it. She took that in stride? Yeah. To a surprising extent. An almost unsettling extent, actually. Yeah, that's a bit... Of, that's a bit... Dis distressing. You don't, th you don't think her cheerful tone is the act, do you? Maybe she was. Uh, I mean, I, I was hoping she wasn't too traumatized by what happened, but maybe she was. That's disquieting. That's because she's perfect. <laughs> All right, that's also possibly the case. I mean, she did. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Maybe she. Maybe she knew I'd come back. Maybe she wasn't too. Maybe she wasn't too upset by it. Uh, maybe she's had time to come to her to terms with it. I don't know. Or maybe she is just perfect. I don't know. Do you think she has someone like him telling her what to do? That's a good question, actually. She doesn't. There's no one else like me. There are no men like me. Only me. I think he's right, because I like it better if she doesn't have some horrid little voice like him, always trying to drive her to violence. <laughs> that would be pre preferable. Although it certainly would make our love life interesting. Uh... Do I have to cut you out again? I really didn't care for that last time. I'm okay with whatever you come up with. You can cut my arm off again. Right. We won't be laying a finger on her perfect wrists, and indeed, we won't even have to. Do you see how dainty her hands are? We'll be able to slip her right out with no harm done. Uh, I think you might be uh, going a bit too far with the idolization there. What? No, she's a prisoner here. You can't just slip her hand through the chains. Why are you two arguing over the logistics of slipping her hand out of her shackles? She just said she'd be okay with any idea we came up with. Am I the only one here who thinks that's weird? Hey, she's been here for God knows how long. Not to mention this place is forced to murder her own rescuer. I think I'd be pretty happy with whatever I with whatever I need to do to escape. You ever heard? You know, you remember? You ever hear the, those stories about people who get their arm, who gnaw their own arm off because it's trapped under a boulder? Yeah. Although, to be fair, in that case, the arm is already completely knackered, so it's not as much of a loss. She didn't care last time. Why should she care this time? 
That's our stoic, smiling angel. Yeah. Her, uh... Her... Her... Her cheerful determination in the face of... In the face of whatever... She has to deal with... Is one of her best qualities. You're right. It's extremely bizarre behavior and further evidence that she's a monster who's not to be trusted. All right, then. Go ahead and slay her. Bit of a leap of logic. Uh... What happened after I died? You died, and now we're talking. All right, simple as that. Uh, but before we started talking, did the world end? Did you end the world? I don't know. Was I supposed to have ended the world? Would that have made you happy? Uh, isn't that just like our know. darling princess? She wants to make us happy. My heart melts further with every word that passes through her beautiful lips. Are you listening to her? That's a confession. Is it? Uh... Honestly, the world sucks. People are a plague, and I hope you run a slow and fateful ruin to them all. I'm not quite that mesentomic. <laughs> uh, but this place is kinda knackered. It's hard, you can hardly even call it a world. So I have no feelings one way or the other about the world ending. At least you're being honest. I can't believe that the fate of the entire world has been left in the hands of a nihilist. I'm not a nihilist, I just think this place sucks. Um... The princess shifts in uncomfortable confusion. Me too, I don't care. Eh, she enough. wasn't confused for long. If she doesn't care, then clearly she didn't end the world. Yeah, makes would sense. Take a great desire for evil to do something so inconceivable, and our dearest has not an ounce of cruelty within her. All is well, and it's high time we rescued our beloved. Yeah, you make a good point. What, uh, like, why would she? Why would she even care enough to end the world? Unless it was in a way. Unless it was in the process of breaking through to another world. Perhaps. I don't know. But yeah, clearly. <laughs> I mean, maybe she did it by accident, but that's... I mean, she's clearly... In that case, she clearly wouldn't be culpable, in which case... She doesn't deserve to die. Anyways. Let's rescue her, shall we? No. I can't let you do that. If you take another step towards the princess, I'll... Yes. Oh, shit. Whoops. Hang on. He's still being off. Hmm. No. I can't let you do that. If you take another step towards the princess, I'll... You'll what? Take over our body and force us to try and kill her? Again? Yes. Well, I'm wise here, Trix, now. Maybe I'll just toss the knife out of the window before you can do that. Then again, you do seem to be able to move the knife around, but will, uh, will that be enough? Maybe I'll toss the win uh, toss it out the window and start fucking running for it. The do you haven't locked the door yet, after all. Maybe there's still time to get out of here before you can pull any of that fucking bullshit. Not on my watch, villain. Yeah! My passions contain titanic depths, and if you try anything that might harm our dearest, I will end our life without a second thought. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, now you're even more outnumbered than you were last time. Maybe that'll be enough. You wouldn't. I would. Good man. I'd listen to him if I were you. He has a lot of strong feelings. And doesn't the world end if we don't stop her? <sighs> oh, wow. You approach the princess and gingerly slide her hand from her bindings. That shouldn't have worked. I'll be damned. We're doomed. Huh. Maybe you're not the only one who has a bit of control over the world. Is... Hmm. Was that already the case? Or did the smitten make it the case? In which case... <laughs> you have no power here, narrator. I can't believe it. But I guess I have to. I told you, there's no life more worth living than that of a true believer. Yeah, 
Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I'm free. And you're not trying to kill me this time. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> the princess jumps up and smothers you in a joyful embrace. Ugh. <laughs> and that made Hearing you narrate this in a long-suffering <laughs> uh, grimace makes it all worth it, even. Are you else. sure you want to do this? Just one slip of the wrist and your pristine blade is buried in her back and everyone out there is saved. Is that a threat? <laughs> you know what we'll do if you try it. You're going to regret this. No. I think you're going to regret this. What do we do now? Uh, we leave, I suppose. Uh, yeah. What do you want to do? Let me guess. End the world? Spoken with the rank cynicism of someone who has never felt love in his heart. I don't actually know. Nobody's ever asked me what I wanted before. That's... sad. She doesn't even know what she wants. You may have had her all wrong. What if this whole thing is just a misunderstanding? What if she doesn't want to end the world? You're so gullible. Is the only thing you've ever doubted the actual truth? I think I want to leave. And I think... The princess closes her eyes in deep reflection. And then... She shrugs. I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you... <laughs> Jesus. Uh... Something is right here. I'm sorry. Slay the princess. Wow, that's a bit extreme for, <laughs> for not having... And then I want you to tell me what you want. I just want to make you happy. Uh, uh, she's going a bit off model, isn't she? She can't just want to make us happy. It makes sense to me. That's all I want for her, so of course she'd want the same for us. I guess that makes sense. Then again, she's not just a voice in my head. Uh, but what would make you happy? I just want to make you happy. She's becoming... Ah. I guess the narrator's right. She is a sketchy character. <laughs> this is a bit... disquieting. Is she... broken? What's going on? What's going on is she's lying to you. I don't think she isn't a good liar. Are you starting to trust me now? No, I don't think she's lying. I think... she just... I think... It's as if she's just... Like I said before, it's a, we don't really have a past or a name or anything. Like we're just, we were just created to be cardboard cutouts to fill a role, and it's as if it's as if she's re regressed just being a cardboard cutout. Oh. What if narrator? What have you done? Look what she's become. Because of your interference. She didn't used to be like this. It's as if she's been hollowed out, isn't it? There... If you need your own thing, you just met me. You can't base your entire happiness around me. Okay, if that's what makes you happy. This isn't right. I don't know what's going on, but this isn't right. I fail to see the problem here. She's just sweet on us. You don't have to act like it's a big deal. Don't you, do you not see her regressing to just a sketch? A rough sketch of a person? Just the outline of a per, uh, outline of a thing where a person should be. I can't win, can I? I had hoped that I could just... 
Just let her kill me and then we can escape in the next life, but... Look what she's become. I can't bear to see. What have I... What have you done? What have you done? Last time. Is that my fate? To just. Twi to just keep having her twist into something unrecognizable and have no way to fix her? <laughs> this isn't fair. This isn't right. It must be. something you want. I just want to make you happy! Is it just me, or does it feel like we're alone right now? Like we're the only ones here? And they lived happily ever after. The achievement I just got, it's what she wanted. And there she goes. You don't get the chance to ask another question, nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. Every time. Every time. Snatching... Every time defeat is snatched from the jaws of victory. This is never gonna end, is it? I'm never gonna... I'm never gonna have a chance to be with her, am I? Maybe I should have just killed her from the start. <sighs> Whatever. Ever since that first run, I've been irrevocably captivated by her. Ever since she, ever since that strange fractal abomination. Damn it. I only ever seem to bring suffering on to her. Another, uh, some would say that it would be better just to kill her, but free her from that suffering, but I don't believe that. I, nothing is worse than death. No! She was our perfect match! Perhaps. She's gone. But where did she go? Should we try and find her? And is that a why is it here? Why now? It's going to be okay. Just trust me. We've been here before, and you always get scared. But it feels so bad. Like, looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. Maybe it is. Yes. I fear that we won't like what we'll see. What if we just sit here and for a while. That can't hurt, right? Maybe. I'll see you on the other side. It's going to be okay. Okay. If you say so, we'll trust you. When have I ever steered you wrong, right? She'll be there waiting for us. I just know it. In a manner of speaking, as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave. But you need to see what's in it. A bloat. You've grown. What? You find yourself in the long quiet once again. You are at the cabin. Am I?
flickering lights in empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement, I am more than I was before. Only the same can be said for the princess. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. Yeah, that sounds nice. No, no, it really doesn't. Even if it was heartbreaking, I don't want to forget. I mean, forgetting is almost death, isn't it? Are you the same being as you were before? How, how much have you changed? Is a child the same as an infant? I am an unbroken pattern, but every vessel gives fresh perspectives and carves new avenues of expression. I am different. Nothing like and everything, it's always been, right? It's a wonder we expect a thing to stay the same at all. What does it feel like to change like this? Eyes close in reflection. Perspectives melt together, and the breadth of my experience stretches to new corners. There are contradictions, conflicts in my nature. And there are familiarities that bind everything together. It feels correct. This is what I need to be. This is the only path forward. Here's a question I didn't... I wasn't able to get a straight answer. The same question that I couldn't get a straight answer from her. When this is all done, do you know what you want to do? With every gift you bring me, I excavate the alleys of what I am meant to be, and every exploration yields new and complicated truths. What I will be is different than what I am, and what I am is different from what I was. I cannot tell you what desires I will hold when I have changed. I'm never going to get a straight, straight answer to that question, am I? You're but in like this moment, her, aren't you? all I want is to know myself. And to know you. You're just like her, aren't you? More or less. <laughs> been kinder to me than anyone else I've met. Thank you. You've been kinder to me than anyone else I've met. Why? Why wouldn't I be kind to you? You are the only thing I know that isn't me. That's just as much reason to be cruel as it is to be kind. Why can't I do this? Can I not do the same things as I've done before? I can't? Huh. I didn't know that. I guess I haven't tried. But I don't know about kindness. Seems to me that she, all she seem, all she does is steal away that which I've built for myself, that which I've found. Is that kindness or cruelty? I don't know. But at least we'll be sure. You know that at the end of this, once you're finished, I'm going to kill you, right? Mayhaps. There is still much to be seen. Neither of us know the depths of our being. Perhaps at the end of this, I will be the one to kill you. Or perhaps we will leave this place together and find new horizons to discover. Do you have any thoughts on this vessel? This one is soft and delicate. You molded her to love you, and she'll make for a gentle heart. Do not mourn her. She has served her purpose. Fuck you! Fuck you about her purpose! Go fuck yourself! <sighs> Fucking... Vile, grasping creature. 
not a tool to... She's not a tool for you to fucking use up and discard. She is a... Never mind. What do you feel about me? These vessels I've been bringing you, I've hurt them. The vessels are shaped by memories of you, but they are drawn to the edge of the long quiet. To them you are a gate to something more, and you are something more than that, too. But they are only thoughts and perspectives. They are not me. The wounds they've suffered carve texture around my heart. Without them, I would be as I was before. I would be alone and without sensation. I could not feel the joy of having you by my side, for I would not know your absence. That's all well and good, but... So the... Uh, these perspectives... in consuming them aren't you just destroying them as well is it worth making you more than you are now if it means killing if it means the destruction of so many you may be a world in and of yourself before, but if you if it means that the destruction of even a single incest, a single person. But I don't have a choice, do I? Type of that or kill them myself. I think I hate you. Your will cuts across the entity in front of you, but nothing happens. My roots burrow in an ocean beyond your sight. We cannot harm each other as we are now. <sighs> what about myself? You raise your will to end your life, but as it buries into the space, your you body should be, that should be your, you feel nothing at all. One of the many hands in front of you reaches forward and gently touches the side of your face. There's nowhere for you to be but here. How many more vessels do I need to bring you before I can get you like a fish? If I am to be an ocean, you have nurtured me into a pond. My waters are shallow and murky, and I yearn for more perspective. Really, an ocean or just a gaping maw consuming all that you behold? You will have your rest in due time, and I am sorry for the burdens I place on you. What do you want me to bring you next time? You got any requests? Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. My joy is in seeing what you choose. There are no wrong answers. And every perspective illuminates my shadows and shares new secrets. So you don't have any preferences on how you'd like to change or grow? My preference is for you to show me what you would like me to see. I cannot know the ways I wish to grow, for I have yet to feel them. It is you who guides me down the thin trail of perspective and memory. You're even more of a hollow creature than she was, aren't you? Let's see, when I go back, it's as if an invisible wall closes around me. Why can I not do the same things I've done before? Those paths lead to worlds you've already seen, and to perspectives I have already made my own. They are useless to us now, inaccessible. The only paths of value are those that are yet untread. Alright. Time to go back. 
I will long for your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. We will meet again. Everything goes dark, and you die. An idealized vessel. Bring the de deconstructed damsel to her. Alright. You're on a p Yeah. Well. That was another episode of Slay the Princess. <sighs> Jesus, look at her. Brought only suffering to her, haven't I? Well, no, not only suffering. It seems I can never win, can I? Or can I? Who knows? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know how to proceed now. All these cr these the forms that I've seen her take have been wonderful and horrible, but I'd rather have them any day over that grasping creature that consumes all that she beholds. Oh. That's... That's new. Or have I simply not stayed on the main menu for long enough to see that? Well... Without any further ado, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and so long, suckers. Our very own castle on a hill, so to speak.